So uh, if you want to make our equilibrium very small, like you said, it's almost going to fall now, right? You need to start with very large push, OK? For me now, we will uh, generalize the Ruthian procedure. This is the Ruthian procedure. We kind of like it. Why? Because uh, it allows us to reduce our dynamics from two degrees of freedom to one degree of freedom. So we're going to generalize this procedure uh, for model reduction in general. If I start with n q's and I have c cyclic coordinates, I want to remove these this c cyclic coordinates and live with n minus c q's. Okay. So this is your Lagrange equation d by dt partial l partial q j dot minus partial l partial q j equals your right hand side, which is the non-conservative plus the constraint j. This guy is the summation k equals 1 to m lambda k a k j. Okay? So I'm going to call this my right hand side j. So as you see from this equation, if we have partial L partial Q j is 0, this term is 0, and the right hand side is 0, right? So you immediately get the d by dt for something is 0, which means that this thing is constant. And in this case, we call qj an ignorable coordinate or cyclic coordinate. The implication is that partial L, partial qj dot, this guy is constant. And we're going to denote it by pj, because it really represents the corresponding momentum. Okay? This is constant. So it gives you a means of identifying conservation of momentum, whether it's linear, angular, without being an expert in the field. Just this observation. Okay, now we're going to analyze the situation. Let, let us assume that we have Q1 up to QC cyclic coordinates. So they don't show up in the Lagrangian by definition, right? Cyclic coordinate means that partial L and partial Qs are zeros for these particular periods. So they don't show up in the Lagrangian, but their Q dots show up. And I want to remove them. So I will define an equation for each one of them. So partial L partial Q1 dot equals up to partial L partial QC dot. Equals. It's like this guy. So these guys will at the end equal to P1 up to PC, right? And these are constants. When you do this uh, differentiation, when you differentiate partial L partial Q1 dot, so the Lagrangian is kinetic velocity tension. The kinetic in particular is quadratic in velocity. Have some q dots square, right? When you differentiate it with one velocity, the remaining expression is linear in velocity, right? In general. So this is the most general case. So any of these differentiation is linear in velocity, in all the velocities, right? In general. So it's some linear combination of the q1 dot up to qc dot, because they are there, right? And another linear combination of the remaining things. I'll call this A, call this B. A and B matrices, they may be function of q's, right? But there is no q1 up to qc, so this is qc plus 1 up to qn. I'm just giving you the general procedure. So you can use this system of equation 
to solve for this guy. This P minus these guys multiplied by A inverse, so you get the Q's. You get Q1 dot up to QC dot. You get rid of all the Q's. Like here we got rid of theta dot. So this is a function of what? This is function of the other Q dots and the other Q's. And the P's. If you have any question, please stop me. I told you before is that please don't take this substitution and go substitute in your Lagrangian. Don't do that. No. What do we do? We define the Ruthian to be your Lagrangian minus what? Minus what? P theta theta dot. Exactly. The P theta theta dot kind of term. So each P times its Q dot, right? So each one of these, because I have many, HP times Q J dot. And I will take this, substitute it here, substitute it in the Lagrangian. Now I got rid of these Q dots. The remaining Ruthian is function of the other Qs, the other Q dots, and the P's, which are constant. And deal with this Ruthian exactly as if it's a Lagrange. So we're going to write d by dt partial r partial q j dot minus partial r partial q j equals whatever you have non conservative and constrained j. And please tell me this is j runs from what to what. C plus one to it. Yes. So I reduced my system. This is the generalized version of it if you want to program it or whatever. For us in problems, we maximum we're gonna have just a couple of them, the maximum. Typically we're gonna have one like here. Any question please? Can you yes, say that? again what A and B the matrices? They are the, the coefficients, so when you do when you do partial L, partial theta dot here, you get mr squared of theta dot. So the coefficient of the velocity may be function of coordinates, right? So when you do partial L, partial sum Q dot, you get linear in velocities, and the coefficients may be function of coordinates. So these are just any coefficients you can have. Yes? The last parenthesis, the one that is red. Ah. You see that Q1 and QC is equal to Q dot plus Q1 dot up to QC dot. Yeah. They are functions of, this is QJ dot okay. of. Functions. Any question? Question, please. Okay. We're going to do some rigid body now. How to do rigid body in. Uh, in Lagrangian mechanics, see what's the difference, or what to add 